I stood in the yard for a long time, looking at the moon and thinking about mom and dad and the receipts, about those astronauts, about how things in a life can get lost without any certainty of finding them again. I said a little prayer for all of us. I was prepared for the worst. Tears, rage, a family in shambles. Or... Well, that's when you went to Omaha. Do you remember the plane fare? 150 bucks. I couldn't believe it. I'd never seen them quite so close. Like they didn't have a care in the world. But watching them together, loving each other, recreating the past year from memory, I felt a bond, a promise that things would work out. So where'd you go today? Well, first I went by the post office to see if anyone had turned in the receipts. Uh. <clears throat> then I stopped by a church, said a prayer for the astronauts. And suddenly, a lot of things made sense. So how many days were you in that hotel in Omaha? Three days. Three days. What, about 30? 30 bucks a day. As I looked at that blank page, I knew that whatever I wrote would be a lie, or at best, a wild guess. It didn't matter. Whatever life lay ahead of me, a life of hope, of possibility, of uncertainty, I felt sure I knew what it would take to survive. I guess what I'm saying is, for the first time, I understood that some things are bigger than death and taxes, like family, like faith. I could only hope Miss Stebbins would understand too. Do you think the astronauts will get home? I don't know, Kevin.